Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to yet another video. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day and happy new year. So, for today's video, as you guys can see from the title, it is time to recap and go back to the year of 2021 and talk about some of the best pops, in my opinion, that came out the year of 2021. There is a lot of great Funko Pops. I feel like that was the year that I really, really got into collecting. So, I did get some pretty cool pickups. They did drop a lot, a lot of new, awesome new things. So, we're going to talk about that in today's video. I'm going to be doing my top 10 favorite Funko Pops that came out the year of 2021. And I know I did go on a little break, so thank you guys all who is watching this video thank you guys for still supporting me i really really do appreciate it but before i did go on a little break i had an ongoing giveaway did not forget of course not which was this funko pop right over here so i will be announcing the winner for this funko pop during this video so make sure you guys stay tuned and to celebrate the new year to thank you guys all for still showing the amount of support you guys do um i'm gonna be doing another giveaway but i'm waiting for that funko pop to come in the mail it still has not yet arrived so as soon as it does, I will be doing a brand new giveaway. So yeah, make sure you guys all stay tuned for that. And yeah, enough talking, enough of that. Without further ado, let's get started with today's video. I hope you guys all do enjoy. Let's go. Okay, so we're going to start this off from number 10 and we're going to go all the way down to my top favorite from the whole year. And it was kind of hard to narrow it down, but I was able to get it. Get it down to only 10 Funko Pops. So, coming at number 10, we have the Tapatio Man. So, this one, I can't quite remember the month it came out. But this one is such a great pop. I do remember that when it first came out, people didn't really like it. Just because it was a common, which I personally don't care about. If I like the Funko Pop, whether it comes with a sticker or not, I'm going to get it. And this one was definitely a must for me. I love Tapatio. And then, you know, I think all his friends can speak for that. That this was a pop that they needed to get in the collection. So, coming at number 10, we have the Tapatio. But Theo Man, I was able to get this one from Funko Hollywood and I'm so glad I did because it is such a great Funko Pop and I really do like this one. So yeah, coming at number 10, we have the Tapatio Man. Okay, so coming at number 9, this is a pretty big Funko Pop. And by saying that, you guys can guess what it is. And there's even a shadow right there. So coming in at number 9, we have the 18 inch Iron Man. It doesn't even all fit inside the frame. But this thing is so massive, like just to compare from like a regular size Funko Pop, like this is a regular size Funko Pop, this is the 18 inch, so as you can see, it is giant, and when this one first was announced, I was like, eh at first, but then I was like, it's a big Funko Pop, like I've always like wanted something like a big old Funko Pop in my room, every time I go to Funko Hollywood, I'm always like, I wish I had one of those big scale Funko Pops inside my room, so for now, this will definitely do. And yeah, this one is super sick. And I know that they have made a Groot in the past. And I did actually just get that one. But for my mom because she loves Groot. And I just stuck with um, Iron Man. I hope that the next Marvel one they make is a Spider-Man one. I would definitely love that. Of course, I'm a big, big Spider-Man fan. So, Funko, if any of you guys are watching this, let's go. Let's get with the 18-inch Spider-Man. You know that would be a great idea. But yeah, so coming at number 9, we have this... Funko Shop exclusive Iron Man 18 inch. Um, I was able to get this one on the Cyber Monday sale. I'm so glad that I did wait. And I was able to get this guy for only $75. Which the retail price is at $100. So I think that's a pretty good deal. But yeah. So coming in 9th place we have the 18 inch Iron Man. Coming in 8th place I think it's a fan favorite for most people. Especially with the show that came out this year. And that is the Funko Shop exclusive Glow in the Dark Loki from Avengers Endgame. So when this one first came out, I honestly didn't think that was going to go up in price like that. Um, so I kind of waited on it. I waited on it. Because I was like, oh, it's going to be a pop. It's going to be like worth like 30 bucks, you know. I'll get something else that I want for now. And then I'll wait. But out of nowhere, like I think like a few weeks after, the show got announced. So of course this one went all the way up in price. It's not that bad now. I think it's like at $85. I think it was my first ever Loki pop. And now I do have a few more because of the show and all that. But this one is pretty sick. I do wish that the glow was a little better. But overall, Endgame is one of the best, best adventures movies ever. If not the best. And yeah, I'm really glad I do have this Funko Pop in the collection. It's a sick one. If you're a Marvel fan, this is a must in the collection. So yeah. Coming in number 8, we have the Loki Funko Shop exclusive Endgame Funko Pop. Alright, coming in 7th place is another great one that came out this year. And that is going to be the Funko Shop exclusive Stitch Chase. So, if you guys were around when I first got this Funko Pop, you would know that 
I was so happy to get this one. I rarely ever get lucky with chases. So I had ordered two online. They were both commons. And then I decided to test my luck at Funko Hollywood. I went and they had handed me the chase. And I was so, so happy. Like, like I didn't think I was going to get it. I was sad that I had a... I might have to pay resale for this one, but luckily I did not and I was able to get this one for retail and I think this is such a great pop. Um, Stitch is definitely one of my favorite Disney movies, so having this one in the collection is super awesome and I love this scene. So, shout out to um, the worker at Funko Hollywood for handing me a chase and um, I really appreciate it because now I have this awesome Funko Pop in my collection and it made my top 10 coming in at number 7th place. So coming at number 7 we have the Stitch Focus Shop exclusive the Chase version. I absolutely love this one and I'm so happy that I got this one in the collection. Okay everybody so coming in 6th place probably one of the most anticipated pops to come out this whole entire year. This is just a common but it was definitely a good one definitely a fan favorite and that is gonna be Charizard right over here. This one is super sick. So when this one first came out I was extremely happy because I was so happy to finally have a Charizard Funko Pop in the Funko Pop collection And I feel like a lot of people can um, feel the same way when this one first dropped Everybody was super happy recently the Target exclusive one the 10 inch pop did come out I don't know if I'll be picking that one up just because I don't really collect 10 inch just because I don't have that much space Anymore in the room to start collecting those but for now this one will definitely do this one is super awesome and I'm just gonna see maybe next year we get a diamond one, a flocked one, uh, um, glow in the dark one, uh, whatever. <laughs> Let's see what we'll get from a Comic Con of this year of Charizard. Um, I'm sure that would be crazy if they do like a diamond one. People will probably go crazy over it. But personally, I never liked the diamond Funko Pops. So for now, the common Charizard will do. And I'm just so happy to have this one. So this one is coming in sixth place okay everybody so we're getting down to my top five favorite funko pops of the year so let's go coming in at number five we have an out of box pop just because i do display this one out of box and that is adding iris sun right here and this is a basketball player if you guys don't know nba he is um an older player he played for the sixers and this is one of my favorite favorite players ever he is number three and that is why like number three is my favorite number just because of this guy right here and i am so happy that funko finally made a funko pop of Allen iverson i remember when they first announced this i was so happy because like i collected you know nba and i always said like i wish that they made an Allen iverson funko pop like i do really need one in the collection and they finally announced it and i was able to get this one from Funko Hollywood, I remember um, this was such a sick pop, and I'm just so happy that I do have this one in the collection. So coming in at number 5, we have Allen Iverson. Coming in 4th place, we have a pop that I was super excited to get when they announced this, and that was Ned from Spider-Man No Way Home. And I'm not going to do any spoilers guys, don't worry, but this was the greatest movie of all time. I don't know if maybe I'm just being biased because, you know, Spider-Man is my favorite superhero, but I loved this movie. It was amazing. But yeah, so we do have Ned right here And the reason that I put this one at 4th place Just because I always wanted a Ned Funko Pop And I'm so happy that they finally made one For this movie He is a well-deserved character He is amazing And I'm so happy that they gave him justice And they um, made him into a Funko Pop so yeah, I'm so happy now, and I was able to get this one from Funko Hollywood. I was like extremely excited to see it there, because I was like going to Funko Hollywood, hoping to get the rest of the Spider-Man No Way Home Funko Pops, and they had this one as well with MJ that I was able to pick up as well. But this one definitely made the list, because it's the first Ned Funko Pop um, that Funko has made. So yeah, so coming in fourth place, we have Ned from Spider-Man No Way Home. Okay, getting to my top three Funko Pops of the year, let's go. Go. So coming in in third place, we have another great one, another one that as Marvel fans, I think everybody was super, super excited for this Funko Pop, and that is Old Man Steve, the Amazon exclusive from Avengers Endgame. So when this one first got announced, I knew right away that it was a Funko Pop that I definitely had to get. Like, no matter what, I was going to get this one. And I think this one is so, so amazing. Like, they did this pop so well, like, with the bench and everything. He does have a bench, like, inside. And I think, like I said, this pop is just so well done. I absolutely love this one. And I think Avengers Endgame fans, this was a fan favorite as well. Um, there's two Endgame pops in here. They make the list. So, I guess Funko is really doing good with what they're doing with their Endgame pops. So... We'll see if maybe next year we get some more because 
once we think it's done, it's just not, and it keeps going and going and going, and they keep bringing out more pops. But if they keep making sick molds like this, I do not mind. Bring out all the pops. So yeah, coming in third place, we have Old Man Steve. I definitely love this one. Um, Captain America is one of our favorite superheroes as well. So of course this was a must and I'm so happy to have this one. So yeah, coming in third place, we got Old Man Steve. All right guys, so coming in second place, um, first and second place was definitely super hard. This was a close like battle between them. But coming in second place, we have Spider-Man No Way Home, the Spider-Man integrated suit, and this one is just, it's just like little, it's just because Spider-Man No Way Home was the best movie, it was my favorite movie of the entire year, so of course I had to include one of the Spider-Man pops in here, and this one is just super awesome, man, like when they first even announced the, the Funko Pop, I was so excited, like I was just... I'm still hyped. Like I want to go back and see it again. Um, but it was it was just amazing. I love this suit. This was such a great suit, and I'm just so happy that I do have this Funko Pop in the collection because um, this common it is a common, but it's one of those commons that went up in value. So I think it's like at 40 bucks right now. Um, I was able to get this one from the Funko website along with um, the rest of the set right here. And yeah, I'm just so happy that I did get this one before like people decide to go crazy on it. But yeah, so coming in second place, we have Spider-Man, the integrated suit, and just this is just absolutely amazing. If you're a Spider-Man fan, if you love the movie, definitely try to get this one in your collection if you do not have it already. Alright guys, coming in first place, my favorite Funko Pop that I was able to get this year, and that is... Rex, the box lunch exclusive. So when this one was first announced, I was obviously like, super excited because Toy Story is my favorite Pixar movie of all time. I love Toy Story so much, everything about it. So when this pop got announced, I was so happy and I was like, I knew I had to have it. So when this one came out in stores, I went to box lunch and I was able to pick it up. And um, they did raise the retail on these like so much, which sucks. This was $32, which I believe before was like 19 bucks and like something cents so Funko is going a little crazy raising up these prices but that's why I think we're all a little selective on what we buy now but this one of course was a must for the collection like I mentioned um Toy Story is one of my favorite like Pixar movies of all time so this one was definitely a must and honestly any Toy Story Funko Pop that Funko announces that Funko drops I'm definitely going to be getting them hopefully we get some new ones um, pretty soon that would be freaking awesome but for now this one is awesome my number one spot of the entire year goes to Rex right here okay everybody that's going to be it for today's video I hope you guys all did enjoy but before I let you guys go we're going to be announcing the winner for this Funko Pop right here so this is the Doctor Strange Supreme where he's like evil um, and this was an Amazon exclusive from the new What If series on Disney Plus. So the winner for this Funko Pop is gonna be right there. So congratulations to that person. Thank you guys all so much for answering. Uh, to the person who won, make sure you message me on my Instagram within seven days to claim your prize. So yeah, thank you guys all so much for watching. I really do appreciate all the support. Make sure you guys stay tuned. We'll be we will be doing a giveaway pretty soon. Hopefully that Funko Pop I mentioned in the beginning does come pretty soon. So yeah, thank you guys. All so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already. But yeah, thank you guys. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys all next time. Peace.